Hi, I'm Andre. I'm going to show you how to make a physics-based battery in RAM. This should be a fun and quick tutorial. So let's see how it works. So we have this log that we can grab and let go and it will strike the gates. And with every strike, the gates will become more and more open. As you can see here. So let's go ahead and create an actor. We'll put um, we'll put uh, the base, which is actually just for a visual representation. It doesn't do anything, so we'll use a cube for that, which we're gonna call the base. So this is just there, so we have a point where we can uh, attach the cables, so they don't look like they're floating in air. Okay, so we'll also add a cylinder which we'll use as a log. We'll rotate this to 90 degrees horizontal and we'll scale it down like that. And we'll also put this lower a little bit so it doesn't collide with this one. Okay, now we'll use two physics constraints as I said. A career um, rope and we'll duplicate that one and call this front rope now um, what I've said before is that for a physics constraint to work you actually need two components here well I've recently discovered that you can only uh, you can also use one so if we put this the first one here to log it will actually act as if the physics constraints are fixed to a point which will actually be fixed to the uh, actor itself and the rules that we set here will apply around that point so that's a good thing because before I used to put two objects just so that phys the physics constraint would work but apparently you can do this and uh, it works just with uh, one object. So let's uh, grab this, these physics constraints, we'll put them here. So they grab, so we'll put the rear one to minus 40 here on the x-axis and the front one to plus 40. So what they will do is they will grab the log right here and let it move around this point. But we do this, we could put it in the center right here, but it's better like this because it will limit the rotation in the y, y and z plane right here. So it actually looks more natural to grab it from here because that's how a rope would grab it. Um, okay, so we'll go to the log and we'll simulate physics on it. And let's set the physics constraints. So. Uh, I don't know if you know, but a Baron Graham has actually two ropes, usually like here in V, like that, for each attachment point. That's so that the movement in the Y axis is minimized because we want the energy to uh, come in the X axis. So when it hits the gate, it actually expands all its energy in that, uh, on that axis, on that direction. So what we'll do here, we'll put the movement limited to uh, in the Z and in the X and in the Y motion, which is that one, we'll leave to locked. But in the X and Z, we'll put this limited to, let's say, 200. So each point of attachment of the lock here will be able to move in a circle around this original point. This one also. So these are the linear limits. Let's see, the angular limits will actually leave free, so we can rotate around however it wants, but we'll go here to an angular motor, we'll activate twist and swing. We'll check here, twist and swing, and we'll set a target velocity of zero and a strength of one. So this will add a rotational friction so uh, that it's more stabilized when it's rotating in the ropes. It actually feels more natural. 
So that's basically it. We have actually set it now. Let's go ahead and test it as this out. We'll see about the cables later. So let's put this to 90 degrees like that. And if we try it out now, sorry, I grabbed the other one. It actually works. It works already as it should, as you can see here. So it doesn't move in the Y axis. If I try to grab it, it doesn't move. So let's go ahead and uh, add the cables. So we put here rear cable and we'll duplicate this one and we'll say front cable. So this one as well as the physics constraints will also be able to put uh, to just attach them here will attach them in thin air if I might say that but visually they will be attached to the base because they would look like they are attached to the base but they are not they are actually going to be attached to the actor itself and the other end will attach to the log so let's go ahead here we'll select both and we'll say here at component property we'll say log like that and we'll put here zero the end location so now it's attached to the center of the log but uh, so let's go ahead and grab the rear cable and move it back to 40 we'll put the same location and the front cable will move back in the front to 40 right here so now the um, if I grab this down you see just yes that's I'm not sure why I didn't type this correctly so we put here to the component property log and log again here so now it's actually tied to the log itself now we have to move the attachment points exactly where the physics component is but the thing is that the the end location that you see here for the cable is actually expressed in the local uh, coordinates of the log so because the log is rotated itself we would be tempted for the rear cable to put this at uh, minus 40 for the on the x and if we do that we'll see it doesn't work because it, the, the uh, because uh, it's in the local uh, coordinates of the log. So if we look here, the x is actually the z axis. If you see, this one is the z axis, the blue one, because the log is rotated. So here we'll actually have to put minus forty on the z axis. So as you can see, it's actually attached where it should be but we should also move it up a bit so it's attached here so if you look here uh, on the z on, it's on the x-axis so it will be minus on the x-axis so we go here and we say minus let's say 30 on the x-axis and it moved it up so we'll do the same with the front cable minus 30 on the x and here on the Z will put plus 40. So as you can see, the cables are roughly attached to that one. Maybe we'll put 40. Let's say we'll put 40 here. So we'll put minus 40 on the X. Yeah, that's better. So have this as minus here. Yeah. So just we'll make we'll increase the solver iterations to fives to make the cable more stiff and it should be visually better so let's see again if we grab this it does work as it should of course you can play around with the settings of the cable to make it more stiff or however you want less elastic but that's it for the cables now let's make some doors for this to break down so let's go ahead here and create an actor i will call gate well, actually gate more like a gate than door and here we'll create a cube for the, the gate we'll scale it down 
we'll just say 0 0.1 the y-axis like this and we'll add a physics constraint ah yes this one will have to simulate physics and we'll add a physics constraint but we'll not parent it to this one because it will be a different scale so we'll click here and before adding the physics constraint like this so now it's not parented so we'll call this axis and we'll lock the linear limits let's first connect it to the gate like that now it is connected as you can see we'll, we'll grab it here so we'll put the axis of rotation will be here to the side so we'll rotate horizontally around this point so for that to happen the linear limits will be locked and we'll lock the angular limits and we'll just unlock the one around the z-axis and now we go here to the angular motor we we'll check twist and swing and we'll check the swing motion because this is a swing here and we'll actually add a target velocity of zero and the strength of let's say 200 now this is done so that the door tries to stay in place when we force pushes it it will push back with another force of strength of 200 and try to lower its speed to zero and it will act as a door that actually tries to stay closed so we'll drag this into the scene just move it up a bit we'll also get it closer and more to the center here like that it's just it's approximate but we'll also duplicate this and rotate it 280 degrees so now we have two doors two gates face to face like that and we have the battering ram here so let's try this out it should work so if you grab this wait Wait, 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 it's actually this one, <laughs> sorry, this is a new one. So as you can see, it does work. It works less faster than the other one, because if we look here, let's go ahead and look into the battering ram right here. So if you look to the mass of the log, we'll see it's 24 kilos. So if we go take this up let's say to 200 it should have a more stronger effect on the doors so as you can see it breaks them down a lot more easily so this is kind of it we are just gonna look at fixing some issues as you could see there it breaks down the door but sometimes it's stopped by the door so it like this it goes between the doors and it stops there that's because what we can do to fix that there's two things either you could go to the bearing ram and go into the physics constraints right here and actually um let the log be also free on the y-axis and this well it will kind of make the log more uh, like a natural moving it will look like it's moving more natural but it also adds some movement on the y-axis so now as you can see i grab i can grab it like this also so this is uh good and bad at the same time because when you let it go it does move more natural as you can see here it will not get stuck between the doors but it will also go to the side so you, if you want you can activate this and we'll get rid of the of it staying between the doors but we'll leave it to locked for now and we'll say uh, if this gets stuck within uh, between the doors it's because its friction is too great so we what we can do actually is just go ahead here and create a physics material like this and we 
a parentheses to the physics material and we call this log ram something like that and here we'll say uh, for the friction we'll say something like 0 0.2 so this will make it more slippery so if we go back into the battering ram here and select the log and we go down to the physics material and we search for ram have log ram right here and now remember we've actually locked the y the movement the y-axis again so it should final uh, some somehow get stuck but because we've set the friction to almost zero it will probably not get stuck anymore as you can see right here it does it doesn't get stuck anymore so let's try this again so as you can see it passes through so play around with these settings you can also override the friction like this so it takes the minimum friction like this one so if it's a if it, the gates have more friction it will just take, take the minimum between the two so now it should be even more slippery so as you can see it, when it comes back it actually the door it's not moving almost at all so that's what we want so now the last thing I could show you that will make this more uh, natural is that as you can see when when we let's get this back so as you can see when we play the game and this falls down it will it actually stops dead so that's that doesn't look natural what we could do for this to be fixed is that we can go into the physics constraints here and go down to the lead uh, when I actually no, we go up to the linear limits here and we'll activate soft constraint right here and we'll put this to something really great so it doesn't actually let the log move too much so this acts as when it reaches the limit here this acts as a spring so this is free to move up to here and when it reaches this and it goes beyond this spring comes into effect and it actually limits and makes it come back to here and uh, we'll also add a damper damping here to 100 so that it doesn't doesn't bounce around too much it just comes like boing and comes back here or somewhere uh, it wants to go so let's see how it works now so you play this but it's kind of too stiff let's say let's go back to here to front we'll put this to 50 sorry 50 maybe we'll take this down to 4000 like that so as you can see when you let it go it does actually bounce a bit so you can adjust that uh, to your liking and this this is useful because uh, each time you let it go it kind of bounces a little bit just like a real rope would so yeah that has, that's the tutorial for uh, for the battering ram if you like this uh, don't forget to like uh, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video